Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the multiplier settings of the Super Shader for Character Creator's iRay plugin. The multiplier settings allow you to tweak and modify the final render in iRay to your desired look. Here on the screen we have a number of objects I'm going to use as examples on how you can use the multiplier to tweak the values of the various texture maps. All the texture map values can be tweaked with the exception of the displacement map. Let's take a look at the base color channel first. In the iRay Render tab you'll find the separate section for multiplier. Here we have the two renders side by side. If you go to the Modify tab, you'll find all your texture maps under the Texture Settings section. Let's go back into the iRay Render tab and take that base color multiplier parameter down to 0.7. You'll notice right away that the iRay Render will darken as it's using less of the base color map. Let's take a look at Roughness next. We can take that all the way down to 0.2 and you can see the resulting specular highlights on the marble complement the darker color to make it look shinier and the surface more polished. Here's a final comparison of the two. You can also notice that the metallic map here is pure black. If we have a pure black texture map then changing the multiplier value in the iRay Render tab will have no effect. I can take it to a very low or very high value and you will see no discernible difference in the render. Next up we're going to take a look at the opacity multiplier on this jade object surrounded by a hole filled metal layer. If I take the opacity multiplier down to a lower value, what will happen is that the entire surrounding metal lattice will become semi-transparent, just like you would expect to happen when lowering opacity. However, if we boost the value up super high, it will further enhance the brightness and contrast of the grayscale image and we'll get an overcompensation for the opacity, which results in the holes becoming slightly smaller and more beveled. Here you can see the final results of the three different level settings and a close-up of the opacity texture map changes as well. Next let's take a brief look at the bump or normal map on this object here. I've made it grey so it's a bit easier to see the results. It's pretty straightforward. A decrease in the multiplier value for bump will make the edges and depth of the object look less pronounced and flatter whereas an increase in that value will do quite the opposite and you'll see a stronger looking feeling of depth. Now notice in this example that the metallic map is not entirely black this time which gives us some freedom to adjust the metallic multiplier to achieve different results in our iRay render. If we boost the value up quite high we'll get a very noticeable result with a much shinier surface and more apparent specular highlights. Now let's take a look at the emissive multiplier. This multiplier essentially multiplies the effects of the glow map and self-illumination settings in iClone or Character Creator materials. You'll notice that in the iClone render, there is a slight glow to the blue areas of the object. This is achieved via a high contrast glow map in addition to a slight increase of the self-illumination value as you can see here. What our emissive multiplier is going to do here is either decrease or enhance the glow effect from our object. Now when we increase it, the color of the blue area gets especially brighter. Since the halo of the glow shown in iClone is essentially a simulated effect, it will not be seen in a photorealistic render such as iRay. There is another setting called Bloom Filter in the Environment section, however keep in mind that this is a global effect and can potentially cause inconsistent results between the Character Creator viewport when there are several objects in your scene that contain glow maps set to different strengths. Here you can see the result when you combine the glow filter along with the higher emissive multiplier values. That's about it for this quick tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out our other iRay and Character Creator 3 tutorials on our YouTube channel and be sure to visit our forums at forum.reillusion.com as well. I'll see you in the next video.